Hey everyone, my name is Jasmine and I am a third year dental student at Arizona School of Dentistry and Oral Health, also called ASDO, which is way easier. I am from Oregon and I went to Portland State University where I got my bachelor's in general science. I was also part of the pre-dental club during undergrad and I was part of the honors college so i wrote my thesis and i did research using fruit flies actually at oregon health and science university so that's some of the things i was involved with in undergrad also during that time i started my youtube channel so that was my big hobby during undergrad and i really loved making videos about my journey to become a dentist so if you ever get a chance definitely check that out I actually didn't become interested in dentistry until about halfway through undergrad. So I had always thought that I was going to go into international studies or government. And I started taking those classes in the beginning of college, but really something was missing. I started considering the dental and medical field. And as fate would have it, I met a dentist who allowed me to shadow and I fell in love with dentistry. From there, I started taking science classes and I loved them. So I just knew that was the path for me and I took it all the way from there. The DAT is really tricky because it's different for everyone. Some people are able to study while they're in school, but I could not do that. I actually started studying for the DAT after I graduated undergrad and I spent seven weeks just studying. I treated it like a full-time job, even some hours on the weekends, but I made sure to take a lot of breaks during the day, I tried to eat really healthy and have a nice nourishing breakfast every morning. So I really think that was setting me up for success really to treat it like a full-time job, but also allow myself breaks and continue nourishing my body with good food and exercise during that time. Also, I used Chad's videos. That is like my number one favorite study material for the DAT. He's so concise to the point. Everything's geared towards the DAT. I watched all of his videos, took notes on all of them. And I also used a DAT bootcamp lot of really good practice questions in there and i highly recommend taking those practice tests that are out there there's like those official tests it's like the 2009 dat and the 2011 those are really good practice tests leading up to your exam day In my dental school application, I think the thing that set me apart the most was my experience in the dental field. So I actually took two gap years and during that time I worked as a dental assistant and I really learned what the day to day life was like for a dentist. But not only that, I learned what I wanted my impact on the field to be. So I worked a lot with insurance and patients using health plans that are provided by the state and i learned a lot about the limitations of state insurance and in my interviews i would talk about how i would want an impact on making dental care more accessible for people in that population Interview day at ASDO is really similar to a lot of the other schools that you hear about. They do the multiple mini interviews. So you'll have like four mini interviews. One of them will be a scenario, a clinic type scenario where they want you to act as you would if you were the dentist and you had, were faced with a problem. There's also a couple hypothetical situations like what would you do if you saw someone cheating? And there's other questions like that to see kind of how you think and what your ethics are. But there's also going to be an interview in there where they just ask about you, why you chose the school and what you hope to have your impact be when it comes to being a dentist and things like that. So I actually didn't get called for an interview until really late. I was the second, la second to last interview cohort at ASDO. So if you don't hear back from them right away, don't be worried. A lot of people have interviews in like February. So 
don't be discouraged if you don't hear back. Just keep up and send a letter of intent and show the school that you're really hoping to hear back from them. For the interview process, the best thing that you can do is really research the school. ASDO is really into giving back to the community, so learn about how they give back to the community, learn about the rotation program and other things that you think will make the school a good fit for you. Look at how the school was founded. ASDO is really proud of how they became a dental school, so that's something to look into as well. Also, ASDO is passionate about about whole person health, so if that's something that you can expand on in your interview. So I applied to 10 schools and I was accepted to four. So when it came down to it, I was choosing between ASDO, Tufts on the East Coast, Stony Brook on the East Coast, and USC also here on the West Coast. So for me, it was really important to stay somewhat close to home. So I kind of ruled out the East Coast schools just so that I knew that I would be able to see my loved ones more often. And when it came down to ASDO and USC, I chose this school because I think that they have a really strong clinical program and they have the rotation program the fourth year which allows us to spend time practicing dentistry outside of the school while we're still in school. So you could just get, I feel like you get a lot of clinical practice at ASDO. The transition from being a pre-dent to a dental student is huge. It's nerve wracking, it's stressful, and it's exciting. So for me, I think that I was really ready to start dental school because I had two years in between undergrad and starting my dental program. So I was ready to hit the ground running. I was just ready to give it my 100%. And I think that that's something that really set me up for success because I didn't mind, you know, studying on the weekends or in the evenings. And I really just was ready to learn. So I think that if you've had some time off after undergrad, that's really gonna be a benefit to you. I think also what helped the most is I got a one bedroom apartment. So I had just my perfect little bubble and the space that I loved and felt comfortable and felt at home. So really think about what makes you happy. If you are happier living with people or having roommates, set yourself up with some great people in your life. And if you prefer having your home be your sacred alone space, set yourself up for that as well. So my biggest advice would be to get to know yourself and do what you know makes you happy. The first year of dental school is really didactic heavy, especially here at ASDO. So plan to spend your time at school during the week, eight to five. You're gonna be in lecture. You're gonna go over all the systems like the cardiovascular system, the endocrine system, you know, all those classes that you took in undergrad. You're also gonna have head and neck anatomy. But at ASDO, they're really working on getting everyone into the clinic and the sim clinic a lot sooner. So it's gonna be a little bit different for you if you're coming in uh, in the next coming years but it's gonna pick up it's gonna get better you're gonna get through it it's just kind of the rite of passage when it comes to dental school I think the most exciting thing about ASDO is the rotation program your fourth year you're gonna go on four or five rotations they're each anywhere from three and a half to five weeks long they have rotation sites all over the United States and you get to pick your top choices hopefully you get them you're gonna get some of the ones that you like I got all the rotation sites I requested actually, but you'll have to find out what those rotation sites are on my YouTube channel. So definitely check that out. So the rotation program is amazing. You get to get what it feels like to be a dentist while you're still in dental school. And if you're interested in looking at other places to live in the United States, this is a great chance to get that experience as well. So if you are one of those people that likes to check out different areas and you're open to living anywhere, definitely come to ASDO so that you can have that experience even before you graduate. 
My biggest advice to pre-dents is, and I think I've already said this in one of these answers, but that is get to know yourself and set yourself up for success. And I mean, if you know that you are a homebody and you like living alone and you like spending your time on the weekends, just recharging, then set yourself up for that. If you're a person that likes to spend a lot of time with other people doing fun things on the weekend, make sure that you get that fixed because it's a marathon, not a sprint out here in dental school and you need to nourish your mind and your body and do those things that you enjoy. If you like just coming home and watching Netflix and cuddling with your dog, make sure you have a TV and make sure you have a dog and don't feel bad about just resting, relaxing and doing you. So, all right guys, that is it for me. Thank you so much for inviting me, Future DDS, for being part of this series. I have really enjoyed it and I hope that everyone who watched this learned what they wanted to learn and learned a little bit about ASDO. So if you are interested in learning more about my experience, definitely check out my YouTube channel. That's Jasmine Ahrar on YouTube. And I have videos all about dental school, applying to dental school, my experience, vlogs while I'm in school. So definitely check it out. <laughs>